K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, Technology and Livelihood Education, Learner's Packet Deep, Carpentry, Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Analyzing Signs, Symbols, Data, and Interpreting Technical Drawings and Plans. Hello everyone, I am your TLD teacher, Sir Lance. Welcome back to our e-learning class. Welcome to another new learning competency in carpentry. Now, we are going to analyze signs, symbols, data, and interpret technical drawings and plans. But before that, let us know first our learning outcomes for today. Learning outcome number one. Analyze signs, symbols, and data. 1.1. Explain the importance of signs, symbols, and data in interpreting a work. 1.2. Determine appropriate signs and symbols needed in the plan. Learning outcome number 2. Interpret technical drawings and plans. 2.1. Read working plan. And 2.2. Interpret working plan. Learning outcome number 3, apply freehand sketching. 3.1, perform freehand sketching exercise. And 3.2, draw simple carpentry plans based on given tasks. Definition of terms. Axis, line about which a body turns or rotates. Design, drawing showing the plan, elevations, sections and other features detailed drawing separate drawing showing a small part of a machine or structure dimension definite measure shown on a drawing in detail isometric drawing drawing which resembles a respective drawing orthographic projection Arrangement in a drawing of the three principal views of an object. Perspective drawing. The representation of an object on a planned surface pertaining to materials, styles, and finish presented as to have the same appearance as when seen from a particular viewpoint. Projections. The cutting out of any part or any member of a structure. Reduce, made smaller than the actual size as in the size of object. Scale drawing, drawing plan made according to a scale smaller than the actual work. Sketch, freehand drawing of an object. And specification, written instruction to the worker containing all the information. Sketching orthographic drawing, certain conventional lines are used for a definite purpose. These lines are commonly called alphabet of lines. Alphabet of lines. The alphabet of lines is created to standardize interpretation of technical drawing plans. Lines. Line symbols and their uses will help you read working drawings. The various types of lines are as follows. A. Construction lines are very light lines used to block in an object. These lines are made so light that little or no erasing is needed. They serve as base for darkening in the permanent line. B. Center line shows the center of an object composed of alternating long and short dashes. C. Border lines are extra heavy lines used to frame a drawing. D. Object line are very distinct lines. They show the visible portions of an object. Extension line used to extend a point from an object for dimensioning. F. Visible line represents the visible part of an object. G. 
hidden or invisible lines, represents the invisible part of an object or a broken line. H. Section line indicates the material used in the object. I. Leader or reference line shows dimensions of cir circular objects or label of parts. J. Cutting plane line indicates an imaginary cut through an object along the line or thick line. K. Short and long break line reduce the length and size of an object to conserve space. And L. Phantom line indicates that a part of an object is movable. Applying freehand sketching. Applying freehand sketching. Freehand sketching is a drawing, an object without the aid of tools except from pencil or any type of material for sketching. To draw a freehand sketch, eye and brain must be coordinated. This could be quite challenging for some who do not have the talent in drawing freehand, but through perseverance, nothing is impossible. Sketching Isometric Box First, draw vertical line A and B. Second, draw a 30 degrees line A to C in the left side of line AB and 30 degrees line AD on right side of the line AB. Third step, draw line CE and line DF parallel to line AB with the same. Four, Draw line BE by connecting point E and point B parallel to line AC and draw line BF by connecting point B and point F parallel to line AD. Five, draw a 60 degrees line FG parallel to line AB. Connect point E to point G to complete the isometric box. And last step, lay out the details of the desired object. Sketching an orthographic drawing. First, study the object to be drawn. Second, draw the top, front, and right side view. And last step, Draw a simple drawing using the following block as model. Let's practice. Directions. Arrange the steps in sketching isometric drawing. Write 1 for the first step, 2 for the second step, so on and so forth. Quiz time! Directions Answer the following questions. Write the letter of your answer on a separate sheet of paper. 1. What do you call a short inclined thin line with an arrowhead at the end and short horizontal line on the other end used to show dimensions of circular objects? A. Hidden line B. Leader line C. Phantom line and D. Section line 2. What do you call a thick line that is used to indicate that a part of an object is movable? A. Hidden line B. Leader line C. Phantom line and D. Section line 3. What is the other term for visible line? A. Center line 
B. Extension line C. Hidden line and D. Object line 4. Which of the following is composed of two lines with an opposite arrowhead to show the extent of a dimension? A. Dimension line B. Leader line C. Phantom line and D. Section line 5. What do you call the line which reduce the length and size of an object to conserve space? A. Break line B. Extension line C. Hidden line and D. Object line Thank you for watching and listening. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I am your TLE teacher, Sir Lance. See you again next time. Goodbye!